This is Losers Writing Books. Hey guys, um, today's a very special episode of Losers Writing Books. So a lot of people use AuthorTube to talk about their writing, share writing advice, share their issues with what they're going through with their book, but you don't often see us writers actually just sharing samples of what we're actually writing. So Bryn and I thought, hey, why don't we try and get something going where writers actually share a short segment of their writing. So the idea is put your words where your mouth is. So let's go over the rules. One, record and post on either YouTube or Instagram um, two minutes of you reading an excerpt of your work. Number two, give a short explanation of what the story is. Number three, let listeners know if you are after any particular feedback. Number four, use this hashtag. And number five, uh, search the hashtag and give some support and feedback to others that are using it. So part of the reason we actually decided to do that today is because it's an important time for the Losers Writing Books crew. Uh, Bryn Poulsen, my co-host, is actually releasing his first book right now. It's coming out on 1 July. You can pre-order it right now. It's this book here, Night of the Yellow Fever. And so we're doing the very first two minute throwdown right now on the show. So I'm going to hand it over to Bryn. This is the first chapter of my book, Night of the Yellow Fever. Skyscrapers hung like icicles above peach colored clouds. Dangling upside down, Blue Boy watched hundreds of tiny fluorescent lights flicker to life in the buildings as the sun set above the horizon. It's a prettier view than most get, for a last glimpse of life, Lady Roberta said. A cool breeze blew the putrid smell of offal from a nearby abattoir through the air. Blue Boy's stomach lurched as he peered at the slick, wet cobblestones in the laneway three stories below him. Eliza, the giant of a man holding Blue Boy over the building's edge, sniffed as mucus dribbled over his top lip. With his free hand, he dragged an enormous sausage finger under his nose, coating it in snot, then smeared the goo on the back of his trousers. Eli, that's disgusting, Lady Roberta said. She reached into her silk camisole and brought out a thin cotton handkerchief. Blow, she instructed, and pushed the piece of cloth under Eliza's huge nostrils. Blue Boy's inverted body vibrated as the colossal man snorted explosively into the handkerchief. Don't drop me, Blue Boy yelled, gritting his teeth and tensing against the tremors. Good boy, Lady Roberta said to Eliza, who smiled at her. Lady Roberta placed a stilettoed heel on the hip height brick wall that lined the roof and leaned towards Blue Boy. She was in her mid fifties with dark red hair and fierce, nerveless eyes. She wore a black skirt suit and white shirt, her fingers and neck drowned in silver and diamonds. With a flick of the wrist, she tossed the used handkerchief off the roof. Blue Boy watched the sodden sheet of cotton tumble from the roof of the three-story building and fall onto the cobblestones below. He struggled to swallow and his heart pounded in his chest. Is that two minutes? Really? That's two minutes. So that's the first two minutes of Night of the Yellow Fever. Uh, my first book, which is a darkly funny, boozy tale from the grimy, rain-soaked, drug-addled depths of a terrible city. It's out on the 1st of July. You can pre-order ebooks now. You can buy paperbacks now. So what did you think? Did the first two minutes capture your imagination? Let me know. I've used the hashtag and I'll keep an eye out for everyone else's reading. See you later. Thanks Bryn, that was awesome. And thanks for listening. So please go do your own two minute throwdown. Let us know in the comments and we'll go check it out and promote it. We're actually going to do a giveaway. So for those that use that hashtag and get their two minute throwdown out there, we're actually going to giving, be giving away this, a 1966 vintage copy of The Hobbit. Uh, we'll be sending that out to someone who's done the hashtag and done the two minute throwdown. So please get into it and you might win this. And we'll see you next time.